Listo. Round three, Javier Reyes, Alex Velasco. This has been my most favoriteest fight so far. Yeah, the yeah. most favoriteest. I mean, yeah, I guess that's it's not really a word. It's been the most fun fight for me to call and watch. That is good to hear from the Ankle analyst pick. perspective. There's just been a, a lot of interesting strategy here. Look at that short elbow from Bam Bam. That's his, that's Big been his calling card. Yes. The elbows and down goes Reyes. Yes. Survival mode for the Colombian. Oh, oh and he took the big Rodisha! Oh. Rodisha! Are those legal? I don't know. <laughs> Our referee right there to see it all. So you got it, you got it that deep, you might as well just jump guard. If you got it that deep, just suck it up like you got uh, it and uh, uh. finish it. There's a guillotine. Oh, Reyes nope. hasn't tapped. He's Reyes not got it clean. Nice shoulder pressure. Oh, he's out. Beautiful shoulder pressure done by Reyes. Nice defense. Oh, another knee. That was high. That got way up there. The knee of Velasco almost shoulder high. Tremendous dexterity as the blood starts to flow again for Reyes early here. Just over a minute into this final round. Glad you could join us on the zone. Juliana Peña, the Venezuelan vixen. Max Bredos, don't let the antelope go. Down to the ground. That's a good, maybe the first takedown of this fight here for Velasco. And Velasquez knew, or Velasco said, if he gets his opponent down, he will submit. So look oh, for short it elbow, to short be. Short elbow. This might be it. He's got the best elbows in the game, as far as I'm concerned. This would be huge for Velasco to see him improve to three and one in combate. You're three and one in combate. You are boom, moving up the boom, cards. Boom. Oh, and he's teeing off. Reyes has to escape. There Can't take that punishment. It's over. Good night. Say Rear good night, naked. Grace. Say good night, Grace. Short choke. Oh, he's put oh. that chin down. Beautiful job by Reyes. This guy's a survivor. I mean, he's taking a beating. He'd rather give. A, he'd rather get mounted and teed off on than give up his back and get choked. And that's smart. He can survive this way. Uh oh, the feet up by Reyes. Uh, Manuel Gallareta getting over to make sure they are quickly off. Three, four elbows. How much more can he take? Some of the some of the crowd are Mexicali almost asking for mercy. Yeah, and he's got Reyes. plenty of time. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go in the third and final round. Alex Bam Bam Velasco just being primal. What can Reyes do here from this position? It seems helpless. I mean, there's one thing he can do, which would be suck him up so that he can't get those punches off. But if I were me, I'd take a couple punches in order to get my guard back, because then I at least know I'm a lot safer being able to use my legs to keep him more locked down. But this is just a... Here's a this is promising from Reyes. He's gotten sideways at least. Yeah. Not giving uh, Velasco a clean shot with those elbows, but back on his back, but passing the guard. Velasco just looks very physically dominant. Time's hard to watch there. Three, four. This has to be the end of the road. And now the fist, it's over. What a brave effort from Reyes. But Velasco would not stop. Jab by Jaime. Take down. That shot is not game, but he's done well there. Couple elbows to the top of the head from Salazar. Is that Juliana touched on getting into the MMA game as early as seven years old via karate? And now side control moving across Chaidez. Chaidez passes that knee. He's inside. This could be a this could be a, a place where he could finish. Not a wrestler. Full mount. He's cleared it. Cleared the guard. There's an arm bar. Guard for the arm bar. Salazar hanging, holding. Salazar needs to poke his head right in those legs. Oh, oh he's got both legs doing all the dirty work to extend that arm. Oh. Keep going underneath. Keep going underneath, Chaydez. Salazar in survival mode, just trying to keep that arm Salazar at bay. Salazar has to keep him stacked here so that he can pull his elbow joint out. He has to keep him stacked. He's, he's extending that arm. Oh, oh. Exta it's extended Tap. now, and he's tapped. Tap. Oh, to the delight of those in Mexicali. He's back. Yes. Does that, that height and reach advantage, and you've seen it come into view here in this fight. He's a circle off the howler, but instead he gets trapped. He needs to jack up that underhook, and he abandons the underhook, and now he's gonna probably be going down. 
Back again. He got his balance nicely done by Escarriga. Dubbed the best lightweight in the world, but in order to keep that mantle or still be considered, has to be victorious in the hometown. We talked about this, Julian. There's so much pressure. I mean, this is a guy who's been campaigning to come here, and it's here now. Oh, yeah. He's been begging us oh, to come here. Naked. That's over. That's over. That's got to be over. He's got it locked in. Escarrega fighting on. Yes. Taps out. Taps out. Don't let the antelope go. Taps out. Don't let Rafa the antelope Garcia. go. Rafa Garcia. Yay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The real deal, baby. The guns, the gifted. <laughs>